Hello everyone and welcome to the 2017 Star Wars Destiny World Championship. I'm Zach. And I'm Steven. And we have the top four happening right in front of us. On the left we have Nick. On the right we have me running Han Ray against Nick's Phasma, Trooper, Balatik. Looks like I win the roll off, so we will of course be going to Jakku. And I saw this Phasma Bala Trooper deck all over Swiss. Just hanging uh, out. Just, just muddling around. It, it really just kind of sits there and then it builds this masses. I guess you would call it a ramp deck. That's what the cool kids would call it. Uh, where it's trying to build resources, get upgrades on the board, and then just to throw a lot of dice on the table. Uh, something that is actually pretty good against two character decks, especially against Han, because you really have to be able to hit him in a single go round to make a difference, right? Sure, because he's got the second chance to cool loop. You don't want to get into that that loop. I've been in that loop many times, and I always come out feeling yeah, worse really, than I did. It's a cool fundamentals deck, and Han, my Han Ray though is a little different than what was standard. Of course, it's worth mentioning this is Awakenings only. As I roll Ray in here, Awakenings only right before the release of Spirit of Rebellion, and my deck is lower on upgrades than most of the decks. Of the, theory, of you've the been era. pushing for a long time. A we, long we'll time. never forget. Yeah. Eight eight dice cards. Looks like I'm gaining money here with Ray. But effectively, I leaned heavier towards control, which gave me a really good matchup against other Han Ray decks, against Poe Ray decks, which were popular, and even Vader Raiders, it was very popular in this tournament. The other two games, of the, or two decks of the top four, Phasma rolling here with a jetpack and, and all a couple piece. of blanks and a discard there. Yeah, funny, the other decks were Vader Raiders, so I think you would have had a better matchup probably against those decks. Against anyone else. Did, or, you, play, did you play against Vader Raider in the Swiss? Uh, we're leading three, up to top 16. Yeah, I played it three times. Oh, nice. How'd you do? Two and one. Two and uh, one. I, I lost. I lost one on the real it. damage curve here. So I'm gonna soak the with guardian here, thanks to Phasma on the trooper, soaking Han's two damage and rolling a two. No money though, so we'll see what happens. Two damage for a buck. And I've got three money, so you would expect if I don't have upgrades, I've got control, and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. There's the negotiate. So essentially, trading one damage for two dice, even though they may well be blank. And that's, uh, of course, dice are dice. I have learned that more and more in my life, that it doesn't matter what they're currently showing, the value of a die is generally equal to its potential value. Totally. So the Jetpack uh, Trooper die there could have easily been five damage, uh, which I traded a single rate and resource for. And uh, I'm playing here another uh, Negotiate, which is actually my Disarm. And it looks like hand. Disarm, doesn't it? That it does look a lot a like Disarm, which we'll catch here in just a second. All right, so two Negotiates, first turn, you take care of four dice, takes, Nick takes the discard and, and says, wait a minute. It's a Negotiate. And I realized I played Disarm instead. Uh, so I'm saying, do you want me to discard the thing, or do you want me to shuffle back up and give you another discard? Right. He says, just shuffle up, it's fine. And uh, so here we go. Now I'm shuffling. So Isn't that fun? Yeah. And mm -hmm. he gets the Disarm. Yeah. All right. So it Math was, holds. Yeah, the math was fine, so it, it ultimately didn't didn't matter. But man, that's kind of scary in the top four there. You could have just been DQ'd right out of there. Absolutely, and I'm going to put a uh, hunker down here onto my character and claim. All of Nick's dice are spent. That gets a card out of my hand yep. uh, and gives me the battlefield, so I get first action. I'm on three resources. So many of my Draw upgrades. Draw that upgrade, Zach. I need the DL44 or the Holdout Blaster or the Jedi Robes. And yeah, just, just gets none of it, <laughs> just whiff all. returns. But That's I do so have funny. a bunch of control. Yeah. So, so you can I, stall out here for Again, a really where this idea stemmed is I built a Vader Night Sister deck and had no upgrades in it and yeah. realized I could win games with Vader without playing an upgrade. And so Han has a very similar damage curve to Vader if you have money. Uh, and so he can definitely discard there with a random blank. He can definitely do enough damage without upgrades. Uh, but the thing that's going to hurt me the most is if Nick can get a bunch of upgrades on the table. Yeah. Because Promotion I can control for a while, and he gets to draw, and so it looks like he's showing a nice bit here. Yeah, he's he's got the upgrades. This is a beautiful thing. Like Nick is definitely playing the upgrades out, and like you said, that's going to put too many dice on the table for your deck to control, and that is ultimately going to be a problem. And so, with a slow start like this, you really need Nick to to do the exact same. And now we see some modified sides, three showing uh, with pluses and a focus so we know that that's available yeah, at any like time right now he could easily do that's five damage. easy yeah but i have so much control i see electroshock i see uh yeah i'm just going to go ahead and electroshock that focus away remove a die and yeah, this uh, phasma die are probably the highest value on the table yeah and, and i i actually what i ultimately want is him to have to roll in i have a mind trick and i've got two money so i want him to put more dice in the pool uh, ideally, and that's the worst. Him rolling the one on Balatik is the worst because now yeah. I have to literally control now or take five damage. If he had rolled anything else, I'm hoping he also puts the trooper out, right? Then I can mind trick and get three well, of his dice. You know, if we're looking back on this, maybe you don't electroshock that focus. Were you concerned about all in? 
Is that the main the main problem? Yeah, he he. And I actually played against Nick in Swiss, and he got me with an all in. Yeah, that happens. Uh, so again, a little bit nervous here, unpredictable here, making him reroll the ball as he. Whoa, dice going everywhere. You gotta watch out for that focus. I mean, gets a focus. I and I had the unpredictable, which, which means he's really going to have to hit it with that ball of team twice in a row. Well, at least he just hit the focus there. So uh, coming in on the focus. And I've got heroism. Like, I've got all the worst. <laughs> all the control now. It's not the worst. And we're going to go ahead and mind trick. I, I, don't, I don't know why I did that. That just seems wrong, yeah. Again, I mean, if he has the all in, it's a problem. He yeah, but, five. Mm, but it's not that. So that be critical. it. So be it. You know, a player who, who spins an all in here, five on Han, that's fine. Yeah, so that's probably not, that's probably not right. Nick, meantime, having two upgrades. You've got that hunker down, though, looking strong. Yep. Balatik, Trooper, not uh, not in yet. And I wonder if he'd roll him in without anything to Guardian. He just gets rid of his dice completely. They're gone. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. Out of the game. Yeah, and I think, you know, my goal here, once when I don't have upgrades, because I, I played the deck enough to know that there are some games where you don't get upgrades. Yeah. And so, when, at least early. And so first, two, first 10 cards, no upgrades, really not that big of a problem um, because I have enough control to really prevent him from doing too much. Yeah. He's going to be able to build up a bit of a board, but Hanrei can be really hard to put away. And uh, rolling the two here, probably going to get Guardian from uh Here it is, trooper. like clockwork, that, that trooper just jumping in the way of things. And you just don't need a gun here. Yeah, that's good. Got the point. So Taking the money there Han. for Han. And again, I, I can come out of a turn without upgrades, really not taking very much damage. So the deck can ramp really quickly because of raise upgrades and abilities and the shields and second chance on Han. So I'm definitely uh, not in the best position, but my deck can actually play out of this. Man, I got to tell you, this heroism looks great here, too. You, you hope that Balatik focus changes that Stormtrooper over to a two, and then you heroism that away, and make that, make that jetpack worthless. That seems like exactly what I want to happen that if I'm exactly playing this game. That is exactly what is happening, that's, right? Oh, he's oh going but money. he goes for the money, so he, he eschews See, the that's, damage entirely. That's fascinating. He's just skipping out on damage, right? But he's so good at this. This is exactly what Nick Drives does. Drives me crazy. I was, I was amazed, actually. I, I, I enjoyed watching Nick play because he very much plays this ramp strategy that he really is prioritizing money a lot of the time. I uh, use the heroes and then reroll the ray because at this point I know it's not happening. There's the logistics. The love seeing that card in a deck goes up to three. I imagine we might get an upgrade drop to f finish off the turn. There it Absolutely. is. There's the F11. Beautiful play. Which is this is so not how people were playing, right? I know, right? And that's what makes it so tough. Because my deck, I'm sitting there waiting with heroism, right? Mm -hmm. I know. Walk into my trap, please. I want you. There's and a DL44, by the way. There's the All right, so I'm. Oh, and a holdout. This is and a second chance. This is couldn't really have played out better. Just a couple turns earlier, maybe. Give it, I mean, yeah, sure. But, like, going to this turn, it's like seeing a holdout and a DL44. Does a lot for morale, doesn't it? Absolutely. It means I can hold out on right, gain a shield on Han, roll in Han. And even got a deflect in hand there. That's gorgeous. And a deflect. And then if it comes down to it, I can play the DL44 on top of the holdout, get another shield, remove a die, get two actions. So now we're going to start seeing the Han Ray magic happen, which all I'm right. excited to Show see what happens. Show it to me. Proud we are of all of them. And again, you look, though. We're on turn three, right? I've done three damage, Nick's played three upgrades, and that's what's happened. Yep. Beautiful. Hold out, shield on Han, now I've got two actions. I think the absolute right play here, I may not do it, I don't know, <laughs> is roll Han in, you either get Disrupt, there he is, there smash is. money, or you get damage. Gets three damage. Do you take that? That's uh, tough, man. You've got a lot of goods in hand, and this is a tough decision. You're thinking about this very hard, and you decide to go in with Ray anyway. Yeah, I kind of want to roll resources or the plus There's on the holdout, which I didn't get. The plus would mean he wants to soak it with a Stormtrooper. Yeah. And if he does that, the Stormtrooper is one away from gone, and I didn't have to spend my money, and then I can deflect it into the Stormtrooper. I love having one available for this deflect. Like, I think that's actually a critical thing to sit on. Absolutely. And instead, yeah, Nick bricks out. Looks like so a two, couple of damage ones. there. I'm getting, now I have two money. Now yeah. I've got the mind trick open. I've got the deflect open. I've got the deflect Han damage open. Look at these upgrades, Ooh, Just man. another Ugh. gun coming down on Balatik. And if, if Nick can actually off one of my characters, Balatik is starting to look terrifying. Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, look at the resources. He has seven resources on the board in the form of upgrades. Like, you can see how this curve has changed. For your three damage, he traded seven resources oh, worth man, of upgrades. Oh, man, look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm dad, six. mode. And he plays best defense. Oh, he killer. Gets rid of both of them with a single three damage. It's called token minus on three damage. Phasma. Minus three damage and beautifully put on Phasma. A lot of players will get in this mind lock of best defense is always my stormtrooper. But so Nick knows what's going on, man. Now I'm collecting that third resource, and so this is a lot of times the plays players won't see is 
I can upgrade the DL44. I'm just getting a shield here uh, with the holdout. And again, I have the DL44. So at any moment's time, I can spend the money to get two actions and a shield on Han. Get right. another shield on Rain. And I'm actually feeling okay here. Yeah, you got six damage on the board. But there's a lot of dice about to come down. A lot of dice about to come down, and a number of rerolls to make them whatever they need to but be. But I've got a mind trick. You've got the mind trick. That's the key, right? You this can at least cut down clause. half That's of them. That's seven. I can get rid of four dice right here. Which is, even if he rolls a Stormtrooper in, I'm only getting rid of four dice. So I hope I play the mind trick here. And right, I still have one left over. And open. then you still have the deflect. Well, Here's the mind trick. Or yep. the DL44. Yeah, 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 definitely. Boy, I like the deflect here, though. I think. I think you could put yeah, that, saving that them, Stormtrooper into some, some problem. And I, if I save the DL-44, right, if I replace the holdout with the DL-44, I can Jakku the holdout back yeah. on top. Yeah. But if I don't have to spend the DL-44, waiting until next turn is yeah. way better. Because yeah, I get to be. use it, and like no matter who he does damage to here, right? Like attacking Ray is going to get unappealing because she has a holdout and a shield generating card on her. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, but attacking Han, right, if you get rid of the two shields and get one or two damage in, and then it's just like, Han doesn't turn. care. We've, 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 been down. Down we've all been down that rabbit hole. Yeah, Han's not. Now, are you focusing here on Phasma? Because right now, I'm definitely focused on Phasma if I'm looking so, at the board. Uh, in, I, I, I honestly, I'm just blank on what happens here. Yeah. I, outside <laughs> of the actual, blackout top four there. Yeah, outside of the actual outcome, I don't remember. But I know that, like, meta level strategy, I would go after Phasma. I always go after Phasma, yeah. Heads I, up. I was doing now, well it's, doing it's, that. It's going to be very hard if an opportunity presents itself for mm. me to just off the Stormtrooper. Do you deflect that? He doesn't have any money. Nah, that's true. He didn't have any, it didn't have any cash. It's worth knowing. He is showing the Balotique money, though, so I would like him to spend the Balotique money and then probably deflect one of the twos. Yeah, I like and that I, a lot. And I get out of this turn taking one damage on Haunt, maybe. Pretty nice. Pretty, Pretty nice. I'm okay with this. Andre saying okay. And we'll see what Nick does. He, I kept every time I, I played him against the Swiss once, I played him with some in the top four, and I kept being very impressed with how different his decisions were. Yeah. And now, now, now I can see his hand and I can, I've can i watched what's happened. So it makes more sense at this point, but like going to the tournament, no one was playing like this. He's, he's, he's uh, making things happen. And I love, oh, there it is. You're going right for the deflect. So, I mean, you probably, this, this chain probably ends up the same either way. Take the money, do the damage. But you're going on Stormtrooper. Zach, what did we just talk about? I mean, <sighs> You know, it puts him, but it's just a stormtrooper. Right? I mean, the problem is he's got a shield on Phasma and the ability to get the shield back. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're not really advancing anything, and I can actually take away the stormtrooper. That's true. With a three, you already got hit by that best defense. Yeah, as well. And I know I have the DL44 coming coming down strong, which has two three sides as well. So he's going after Ray. That's fascinating. Which usually is good. Like, like, the Han Ray deck usually wants them to focus on Ray because that's, that's perfect for you. Yeah, and I just drew a repost, which means I'm... Troopy's gone. I can just uh, DL-44, get rid of the Trooper. Um, I had drew one with the Force, mm -hmm. which means I can also upgrade one with the Force if he's going to go after Ray. So you have every business winning this game in your head right now. At this point, I actually... I mean, he's got a ton of dice on the board. It's, it's, I would actually put it at equal. Yeah, because now you got a mind trick. I made know. myself... But the problem I'm going to have, which is what I normally have happen, is I get that spot control kind of throughout the game, mm -hmm. and I have burned a lot of it up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're looking at more dice on the table than have been previously, and less control cards in hand and in deck. That's right. So we're going to put another shield here on Phasma. But God, don't you hunker down MVP of Awakening set, as far as I'm concerned. Watching these games play out, watching the, the Swiss. It's... it's for the dependency on range damage that the meta was doing. Yeah, they were really all playing card. that way, right? But it's less good right now. It's way less good in spirit, yeah. Of course, Vibroknife makes the whole thing backwards. Just weird as... It's not good at all. <laughs> None of it. Well, unless you're reposting, then the shields don't ever go away. Yeah. You know, I've always had a real love-hate relationship with repose because I was playing Qui-Gon on the day as well, and... Six and three, I might have. Yeah, six and three, so I did well with it, but the, the reality is that you're doing three damage to yourself. You know? Unless you can get the shields back before your opponent does damage. Truly. That's yeah. how Han feels. So that's it's how like, Han feels. I'll take three away, and then I'll take like seven actions with Ray and put my shields <laughs> right back on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Qui-Gon Ray can't quite do that. But, no, it's uh, not the same. You know, if you're thinking about reposting that context, oh. I think it's a little bit different. And there's it looks the, like a three and a smash two. There's the smash, so you're going to force the flank. Oh, yeah. Just the right answer. So you can't use that. You can't really use that smash now. You really need that damage to. Uh, and I'm rerolling Han here. Uh, that's I got the okay. three again. And I want him so to. So, just... more pressure on the Stormtrooper here. 
I want him to bring a stormtrooper into it, and he's not going to. Oh, you would love that, right? Save your save, save me you some a money. Cash. He's rolling phasma in instead. Come on, Nick, make a mistake. So you probably just kill trooper here. Oh, double focus on phasma. That is why she is an incredible character. Yeah, I mean, an all in right here could be five damage. Yeah. From downtown. I used to love, I played, like I said, that weird Phasma Dooku deck, which of course doesn't really make sense at all, but man, all those characters having focus, that was so consistent. That deck so was entirely consistent. A play I'm, I'm quite keen on here is DL44, make him remove a die, get a shield on Han, get two actions. So I can roll Ray in, DL44 plus Han, potentially doing anywhere from five to six damage. And then you've got the repost for three over there on, on the for three first on order, storms. Yeah. Here we go. All right, well, you're doing it. Let's make this magic happen, Han. Han, my boogie. Deal 44, remove a die. And so now an all-in doesn't get him hardly any damage. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so he the all-in threat there. And of course, all-in is the card's one cost, and you can resolve all of your dice, essentially, all at once. So focus are very dangerous. You can resolve those first, and then continue <laughs> and to resolve. Oh, a brick out, dude. Yeah, that Deal 44 whiffs. To break out. And I gotta Very, think about this. Always, always a good question whether or not you take that discard side also. Um, I really like it against a deck like Nyx because he is going to have a lot of dice on the table and a lot of rerolls to really even those out. So it looks like he might be taking that, but nope, you're re-rolling it and ooh, there's some. Now money. I got the plus. So that's gonna force the that. stormtrooper to take that, huh? Well, if not, I got five coming in hot. Yeah, he's taking yeah, it right here. Take it. Which is great. I don't have to spend the money That's on great. it. That's great. Yeah, you're not you're not terribly displeased about that. This is looking pretty okay. I mean, again, look, I've taken none damage. But again, Nick's strategy here is very different, right? He for He's a late game deck. He passed on damage earlier. He had a plus three showing on the jetpack and could have done five. And decided instead not to. decides not to. I'm rerolling here. Hot sauce bar. Get right. in here. Plus three and a minute. All right, there's some six. Hey. You know, this is the thing, the, the, ray, the ray melee damage is actually critically important if you could knock that hunker down off. That, that would be a real joy. Like if I'd rolled a three damage on that uh, DL44. Yeah, or a plus two with ray or whatever it is, you know, like just, ooh, there's the deflect. And now here's the thing, repost. Or repost. Removing the shield, so now I actually get a chance with ray to you knock it off. You definitely have a chance to knock that hunker down off, and I hope that that happens. For my sake. I just hate that card. Yeah, it's going to happen. Baller. All right, so if you are if you have your head about you, it's going to happen. We'll see what... Uh... And Nick's got no money. Oh, he just bricks oh, out. See, this is... Whiffertons. You know, Nick ultimately has been rolling some real... Some real... Not so great rolls. Not so great rolls. So this could have been way I worse for you. Phasma down to six. This could have been way worse for you. Phasma's yeah. at six, and none of her assets are redeploy, right? But there's a ton of potential on the board here. Oh, so much potential. He could with just nuke, focus. He could I mean, just... with focus, is already almost like 10 damage. He could literally just new time. Could and oh my god, that's definitely going to do it. I don't know if it's going to be fun. I also have control. I got something. You got a plus two, plus one, plus two, plus two. Focus. I mean, it's right there. And I'm gaining a money. It's showing. What what do I what do I have about my trick? It's it's, it's it, showing. I, I don't think these are the joys you're looking for. You don't have any mind tricks left. You already played both. Of them. I played two mind tricks. Yeah. No. First turn and then third turn. Yeah. Oh man, why did I waste them? <laughs> well, because you had to. Look at this, though. Look at this. This is exactly what you... you look at Han. He's naked up there. This is what his deck does, right? He has the Stormtrooper soaking damage early, making sure his mains aren't going away, and then he gets to this board state, and he's just like... And Bala gets a reroll here. It's over. Oh, I this is a agree. big moment. All right, so we're rerolling some, some focus sides and just hits guns, man. But he has no money. No money. No money, no problem. I guess he's too focused, though. He's wanting to, he wants to lethal here. Right? Yeah, that really did nothing for and him. And he has a he has a backup muscle in hand that he's been holding on to. He wants to play it, but he's discarding it. He's discarding it. This is a big it. roll. This is such a big roll, I can't tell you. The game on the line. Okay, he's got a plus and a gun, so that might be enough. I think Two, four, six, seven, eight. Focus to Phasma is 10. That's it. There it goes, man. Look at that spread of beautiful guns. And Han, 10 damage. Wow. Boom. And in hindsight, I actually, when I reposted, only needed to do two to knock his shields off. Uh-huh. So I could have saved a shield. Dang. Hashtag mistakes. Is Balatika going to ready? Yep. And so here we go. Another round of crazy dice with no rerolls. Oh, man. 
just two damage. A resource, a shield, a and resource, two a shield, yeah. and two damage that's for a, free though. That's solid. That's pretty great. All right, we'll see if Ray can stave off the. Uh, this is looking way worse now. The tag yeah? team. Well, it depends. I I could really use a six damage hit here on old Captain Phasma. I got four money. Deal forty four in hand. Hold out blaster in hand. But can, but but check this out. Like if you're me, this is kind of how my brain works. Uh, Nick is sitting on eight resources worth of upgrades, and you are on three. It's a, I'm behind. <laughs> so yeah, this is a I, problem. It's self-admitted. Less characters, less upgrades. That was just in a remarkable turn there. So, and there's oh, the hunker there's down. The hunker. Yeah. I'm getting a shield on Ray with my hunker down, and I'm obviously wanting to wait to play my DL44 until Nick has some dice in the pool. You'd imagine? Uh, I'm going to scavenge, scavenge here. You looking for something in particular? Uh, I want action chains, man. See, if I'd have one... Imagine. Imagine if I had one health left on Han right now. Mm, it'd be a way different game. Unbelievably different. Yeah, I wonder if he pitches that backup muscle in that in that instance. I think he has. You have to I don't know, it. man. Gosh, I don't know. This there is... was a mistake. I knew I was watching it back. I would absolutely recognize some mistakes. But, geez, but it's that... so fun to do a high-flying repost. I know. Just from the top rope. From the top rope. I could have done it for two, though, you know. Damage is damage. So looking like this is this has turned pretty solidly. Here comes Balatik rolling it in. Sees a blank and a special. Now that special on F11 usually does d two damage distributed as you wish among your characters. However, you only have one character. So that's just a two damage side. How can't about be that? deflected, can't really be messed with uh, very much at all. And also has uh, two shown on the gun. So now Phasma has six left with two shields and I have a willpower. Okay, okay. So, All right. here's what's going to happen. Let's action chain it. Let's roll yeah. some damage, right? All right, there's a holdout for two. I'm going to track my actions here with the tokens. I have two actions left. Ray loves that range damage, you know. All right, going to upgrade with another one. Let's have three actions left. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. There's another one. Nick removes a die. So now we've seen, we kind of see right here, this is the exemplary. This is, this is how this works. First action. Four actions now stacked up. A lot of us ask, is that reasonable? And I roll no damage. That's none damage, So yes. if I can do six to Phasma, a seven to Phasma, then you I can, can will power, will power, power the last one. It's not happening. There's, There's three. three. But uh, now I'm running out of actions and cards. I have only a willpower left, so I, I missed. I needed to roll. Obviously, there's a lot of combinations of these dice that could get me there. And that's right. one of them. So that is seven damage, but I pitched the willpower. Yeah, no, that's insane. That's awesome. So, like, if I had rolled that on the first roll, that looks really good. I that's actually at least can Phasma just out. pop Phasma. I'm not sure. You, I mean, it's still a tough game. Ray wins that fight. I don't know, man. Ray wins that fight. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Do Looking you get forty four with hunger and, down, especially that makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm gonna get painfully close to offing Phasma, and then we'll see if Phasma can. Uh, Phasma's make, got plans. Not even rolled in yet. I know. It's Not painful. even rolled in yet. So next deciding, does he want another jetpack or does he want to leave the hunter <laughs> Yeah, down what down? a tough choice, right? Yeah, I'd leave the jetpack. I'd put another jetpack. These are tough choices. There it is. <laughs> it's a good call, Nick. All right, and so now Phasma, just a terror. So doing one to Phasma, I am one away. One, one more power away, Zach. Man, it hurts my soul right now. Can one imagine if Han away. had been out, too. One more power away, man. Imagine if Han, Honey, Honey Boy had been out. Important to note, actually, Zach's uh, using our Saga tokens also. That's right. If you want some Fully of those. compatible with Star Wars Head to our store. <laughs> compatible with Destiny. Uh, let's see if Nick can crush my dreams here. Oh, yeah. And dude, the dude, focus. This is, this is so happening. Two, four, six, I was watching eight. this game live, so I'm pretty sure I know exactly where yeah. this goes. We're going to head straight into the second game to see if I can redeem myself. I'd like to see the game three of this because I, I feel like game one was a bit of a brick out on the hand. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I played against this deck hundreds of times. And, and that's not what it normally looks like, eh? Almost every time, it's at least either holdout or Jedi robes. And I gotta jump Sometimes in, it's both. And i got to jump in real quick. So I lost the first round. I get to pick the battlefield. I pick Jakku. Then you see me rolling Ray in. I'm assuming I don't draw any upgrades again. Yeah, that's a f safe assumption. I remember actually watching live, and I believe that was the case. Yeah, and th what the deck likes to do is... Play upgrades. Hold up blaster, and first upgrade. action, two actions, replace it with Jedi Rubs, get two shields on me, roll Han in, 
if you're real lucky, roll the disrupt to smash the money. How many times did this kind of a game happen in Swiss? Zero. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> in Destiny, it was like maybe one in 30 or 40 games. Timing was wrong. All right, Nick's rolling in here, gets a focus, a blank, and a discard. He's not exactly rolling fire either, though. I, I needed to, to do the old consistent random shuffle from my friend Matt <laughs> Phillips. Matt Phillips, yeah. Separate him out, shuffle him up. Here comes Han, I blank and a three. I just want it consistently. Yeah, you got a big three on Han there. Solid. Nick over there looking at discard and a focus. Look at that promotion doing work on the it. focus. I discarded flank a flank. Get the flanks out of here. Get the flank out of here. That flank is just an incredible card. Three character meta, very strong. Four characters can run it for sure. Uh, a lot of times these three character decks will be playing for the flank sometimes. Both of them will have it in hand and they'll be uh, alternating activations, passing, etc., just to see who can get the flank and who won't. This card never posts to reroll, and I get well. Hey, big we get a big, a big old gun. Nerf City, Phasma sitting pretty here. No shields. I am interested. I am interested in destroying Phasma in this game. I would like to see how that affects the outcome. <laughs> we'll see if the Guardian on the Stormtrooper is going to take this and give you essentially a free resource. Well, it's definitely a get rid of Phasma's. There it is. There it is. Two damage. And I think Nick knows it. I knew it. Lebowski knew it. Yeah. I was coming straight Zorak at Phasma. Knew it. Yeah, Zorak knew it. If, if all he does other people oh, know it, too. Just rolls the two naturals with the two. trooper. Don't you love that with the trooper? Sometimes you just boom. These mind aren't the droids this you're is, looking this for. Is an, this is an overly zealous mind trick. This is ridiculous. I would never have played mind trick for, for two dice like this. No way. At no this way. point, dude, I'm just on edge. No way. Yeah, that's wrong. That is wrong. At you least wait. wait until the focus is. That's wrong. Wait until Bala gets in there. He's rolling the money. Everybody watching, I want you to know that that was wrong. That was definitely wrong. Because if, <laughs> if I see him do this, right, it's like now I can get rid of his money. Yeah, or like, you know, you just hold to, hold that mind trick until next turn. There are not going to be less upgrades on the table next turn. I yeah, but that. I want to use my whole hand, <laughs> Steven, because uh, this is, money. yeah, this is uh, the problem. There's the money. Because I'm in freak out mode. You are freaking out, yeah, at this point. Yeah. I mean, I'm not literally freaking out, but gosh dang it, these upgrades just keep coming. <laughs> Imagine how different it would be. And there's another money and a shield. Dude, I know how different it would be. Another shield, there's I the live money. The dream, dude. All right, there we go. So, uh, much worse first turn, ultimately. Yeah, and I mean, besides my, besides my deck just being totally off script. I'm also not doing myself a lot of favors. Yeah, yeah. This is not great. Oh, and you had to negotiate too? This is crazy. Negotiate on a willpower. Yeah. Oh, just chuck it. And then negotiate. See ya. Yeah, I need an upgrade. Let's see what we get. And we get a Jedi robe. Oh, man. I would have loved to see that first turn. Extra shield's always nice. A day later. No, it's shorter. something, right? Get something on the board here. So play that Jedi robes out. Got a scavenge in hand as well. Hunker down. Looks second like electro chance. shock. Mm. And the old second chase. You may as well play that right now. Let's just get it right? on, Han, just in case. <laughs> just get it. Just in case you get me for a surprise 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's Jedi robes for one, for sure. For one shield. Yeah, but do you spend your money on that? Um, I don't even know that you have anything else to spend. I guess you can do electro shock. Yeah. <clears throat> Jedi robes right. grabbing that shield there. I'm gonna roll it on in. Can you imagine when you can add Vibrant Act to this? It's just I can. crazy. I've done it. It's crazy. <laughs> it's already here. We're playing with it right now. Oh man, just rolling hot sauce there. <laughs> All right. Plus What's next to him? Plus two and uh, plus one. So that man, is a bit of hot sauce there. It up. It's like we're going plus or money. Now I'm showing. Focus for a money discard. That's a tech hand if I've ever seen one. Much slower game. Oh, a commanding presence. <laughs> just just for, salt in the wound. For good times. Wow. Yeah. All right, discard in here. Just, and that's it, you know, take the discard. He doesn't like it. It's good stuff. A lot of people would not have taken that discard. You need to reroll it for something else. Probably, probably a lot of people watching. Still not seeing that black gun. Just really waiting. just and now I got the electroshock it. waiting in the arms. Yeah, yeah. This, he this does is have good. that commanding presence though, so he can commanding presence for lots of money. Yeah, what are yeah, you're looking at it right now, so that'd be three money? Yep. That's oh, a lot of money. Nick's doing it. I find out anything about Nick, he's definitely taking three money. Can I collect three money? Yes, he, I do. He always takes it through the bank. I didn't ask him, but I wonder if he works at the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> just taking that money all day long, man. 
the whole time. The whole time. It's just going. Ah. All right, sit on one resource there. But still no black gun. Now, now if that Phasma die ends up on a gun, mm. that's a it's rash a problem, too, man. Well, I got the smash two is a good response. Uh, now nah, I just got more guns. guns. And that's a redeploy gun, so now I can soak my hot damage even if I roll it. And crazy hair, don't care. Man, look at all, where did all these upgrades come from? It's like Christmas. All right, so it looks like the exact same roll. It is, yeah, I just yeah, wasted a card. Yeah. Just toss one of the bin there. How about a hunker down? You ever considered that card? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the card. Yeah, Nick, in retrospect, actually, I think is running seven times as many upgrades as you are in his deck. It, I think his deck may be all upgrades <laughs> and two flanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and oh he, he doesn't, doesn't like, like that you. gun. See you then later. Then you have to soak it. Just literally... <laughs> Just uh, his, his deck's controlling better than mine is. <laughs> I know he's taking you to task here. This is pretty crazy. That is bizarre. He's got three, four, five, six, eight cost of upgrades <laughs> in play on turn two. So he's six resources ahead, but you've done three damage. Ah oh, man, sweet. Oh, and this here's the stormtrooper too. And here's the black guns for sure. I know this is happening. Nope, nope not yet. He has no cards. That's it then. Wow, you kind of you kind of snuck out of that one, man. Just gonna put a hunker down and get a shield. <laughs> Jic, gets there two they array. go. There they go. See, I know he wants to go array because he's gonna get the ten for on the Han at some point. Right. Next turn, he's easily set up to do that. So, are you gonna slam that second chance down first turn? I don't know. <laughs> you don't even have it anymore. You pitched it. Yeah, I pitched it because I got Jakku out. Uh -huh. What else am I gonna get back? All right, gains the resource there. And looks like All we're right. going to turn, so gonna Ugh. claim. Did you second chance? You, did you? What'd you do? Here, you drew into Jedi robes and raised staff. Well, Ray's about That's, to be a champion. Yeah. Oh, none the none the ambush though. None ambush. Nope. Which is fine. I mean, I'm so far behind. I can't even explain it. Should people just stop watching? Well, Han, mm -hmm. Ray, or miracle worker. So we'll see what <laughs> happens here. There's the raised staff coming in. Here comes the heat. I need a lot of damage. There it is, baby. Oh, Woo. man. Blank up, discard. That's Wiffertons. That is, that is major Wiffertons. Although Ray uh, really wanted to discard cards this game. We rolled, I think, that every single time. Maybe I should have switched tactics from damage <laughs> to discard. <laughs> Play the long game. I can outlast this eight resource worth of upgrades for sure. I don't think anything can. Rerolling two oh, money and a three there damage. It is. That's exactly right. what you want. Well, sort of. Three plus two plus two would have been ideal. You know he's got an answer for that. There's on the hunt. That card's brutal. A little removal and some shields. Yeah, that just was take me. your shields from me. I hate that one all day. There's two money. Man, I'm Look on at five. You. Get, where's that second chance? Oh, man. Nick's got to be wondering. Where is Does the he second, have upgrades? Where is the second chance? Did you pitch my, that? Why did you hand. pitch it's that? It's in my hand. It's not in your hand. You're right. I think I, Zach, I think I drew another one, actually. Why did Zach pitch that? Because I can Jakku it. I don't need it yet. But you do. You very clearly do. Mm, look at this. Hurts. Oh, look at this. I'll show you how much you need that second chance right here. Look at this. This is insane. The amount of dice on the table is insane. I agree, man. I think it's just dad mode. Oh, and it's cyberspace jump. Out See you here. later. Go to the next turn. Boy, you're just weaseling around this game. Well, and honestly, this is, a. I think, a, the first mistake of this game was choosing my battlefield. I could have chosen his. And I get to see that after I draw my hand. I don't draw any upgrades. And so I can at least take the shields. Yeah. Because I'm not going to get a trigger to Q until turn three at the worst. And in games where I give my opponent a battlefield, in the Vader match, I actually like to give them the battlefield. And then at some point, I hit my hyperspace jump, switch back anyway, and get the benefit. But yeah, that's solid. Here we are. All right, showing the lethal so you roll that now, now, you had holdout in hand, opted not to play it on Ray. I'm wondering why you didn't play it on Ray and then roll in Han. Because right now you could crack those two resources, you know, you could, uh, you could he's got four, I guess, did much better. He's best defense in both of those dice. <laughs> Ouch. I wish everybody could see your face. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it hurts. This is great. We only ever show games where you lose on the channel. It hurts, way. man. It's real. Why is that, anyway? Well, you know. <laughs> I guess you haven't won one in a while. <laughs> You gotta win. You gotta win. Once you, you get to top all. four, it's like Zach. Zach is the worst top four player on earth. You know, That's right. Right there. Uh, <laughs> the finals. Nice, nice semifinal performer. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, he loves the screen time, but he can never win. Here's the thing, though, right? I mean, I think to get this far, like, a lot of things have to go right. You have to make a lot of good decisions. You have to run a good deck. You have to be very good. Uh, Does that make you feel better at night? Yeah. Just uh, thinking about but things. obviously, you're watching, and, like, even, even at the top four, it's like, I'm making mistakes. But you don't... I didn't ever encounter this situation in testing, right? Which is where yeah. I didn't have resources or upgrades, and also they had a bajillion of them. Yeah, yeah, we weren't we weren't testing fast move all the trooper. No, which was on us. I mean, we should have really done all that. All right, hold out here, shield on Han. And, all right, uh, there's some great ice, and here we go, rolling in dad mode. Let's just get that trooper off the board at least. Let's just get a start going. Unless, do you really want that well, rifle going it. over he's to Phasma? It. Got but it. do you want that going over to Phasma? I mean, it's gonna go somewhere. I could also knock the hunker down off Phasma. But I think removing the, the Stormtrooper, he's going to have to move the, the die over. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the Stormtrooper. Because he has to move it over, and now he loses his hunker down. Yeah, so it's the same idea, essentially. And um, if, if, I, if I don't, the pool. If I, obviously, if I don't resolve it, he can set for one on the Trooper. Yeah. So, true story. As well now. now, the real question you have to start asking yourself Tell is me. why I didn't do that first. Well, or um, do that in the Rohan end. Yep, 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 yep. That's a good question. As we were talking about, lessons learned. Some mistakes here, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm coming back next year with a, <laughs> the fire. Yeah. I'm coming back with a fire. No, no little mistakes here. There's just no way you're winning this game. I've got the DL44 too. Huh? <laughs> Dude, he's done no damage though. But we've been here, we already saw the first game. I think the way I there's now eleven resources worth of upgrades on Nick's side yeah, of the I board. Yeah, I can do the math. <laughs> uh, I think the the trick here is going to be so I, I'm showing some control cards in hand, which is good, and I've got two money. So even if I take damage here, um, see the deal forty four. So at any point I can get another shell and Han, two actions I can deflect. Um, oh, that's that's okay there. That's all right. I don't know. Focus. He's showing the commanding presence, which could make it four. I'm going to mind trick. So that's actually a great out. Yep. Um, that's going to slow his damage way down, make his turn a lot less. He can, it probably won't be lethal. And going into this next turn, um, I, you could this, be okay. Yeah, with the amount of dice I have on the board, I could do enough damage to, to like maybe get rid of all mm. if, if I can get a character off of the board. Oh, that would just be critical. Then I'm in fine. If, I mean, this deck wins every game that it's one-on-one -on -one with Han and anybody else. That's how it goes. You know? And I mean, I think that's a... So if you look at the damage curves of the two deck. Nick has very little damage up front. This is a great mind trick from him, too. He did a great job here. He did do a great job. This uh, is just, yeah, it's confusing his, for everybody. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting rid of the four dice. Um, but the damage card in Nick's deck is very low up front, high spike in the middle. Yeah, high spike, middle, and late, because it mine, doesn't get less good. Mine is typically just solid the whole time. Yeah. So by the middle game, I'm expecting to get down to one on one, and he is just refusing to allow that to happen. Well, yeah, and he's got a good three character meat bag thing going on here. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he has the best defense on Phasma, the stormtrooper soaking the nat dice naturally. Nice reroll there. Yeah. Just you were going for the blank, right? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Every mm, time. There we go. Double, double. So that's going to be four damage spread as you like. That's not awful. Put it on Ray. Do all, all of four it. on Ray. You sure? Still using our saga tokens compatible with Star Wars. So I'm losing the shield. Yes. <laughs> saga three, tokens. Three to yeah, we do appreciate all of all of that. And I put two on Ray. All those seals. I still actually, I almost put them all on Ray because like I have the holdout blaster. I want you to kill her because if you end up one on one on Han, I'm feeling okay about. Yeah, well, we'll see if that one damage makes a difference. As if it were that easy. We will indeed. You gotta negotiate. You gotta, he doesn't like you in hand there. Still holding deflect, looks like. Oh, and there's the, there it is. That's what we needed. That's actually good because not, nothing's showing damage, but I'm trying to look at his hands. He got electroshock. No, he's Man, got he's, backup muscles just, for days. It's like he's got all the best cards in his deck. He just ran all the best cards. Yeah, what did you think of that? I don't know. Uh, too busy, Han Rain. Oh, there's a boatload of dice. There's double specials off F11. It's going to be four damage spread throughout. Focus coming down on Phasma. It's about Actually, to happen. I think one of those uh, uh, specials is on Commanding Presence. So we can oh. have that, that Phasma Focus into a three. That's three totally focus. true. This is a great all-in turn if he wants it. And he's got he it to get his ball in for sure. But I've got that smash. 
On, on. Showing. Disrupt. Use it. Do you just take it? Right use here? It. Use it, Zach. Use it. Yeah, I would use it here. All right, um, DL44ing. Still might use it. Still might use it. Still might use it. So I'm, I'm forcing him to remove a die. All right. Which is good. Still might use it. I've think? got a negotiate and an unpredictable. Mm, yeah, that's pretty Oof. solid. So, taking two actions here. And that's not what I want at well, all. Well, you can get three. You can get some three oh, money. What's the, what's the, so plus two. Boy, it's tempting to take three money for me. That gives you negotiate, deflect, defensive stance. Pretty hot. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it's enough at this phase of the game. Unpredictable here with Han. You want a gun here, right? I got a shield and I got blanks. Dang, bricked out. Yeah, so taking the I'm three just taking there. The money. So this is gonna be a killer all in if he's got it. And he and doesn't. He's not using it. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't. Yeah, I think he needs to get Bali in before he uses it to really make use. And now it's extremely terrifying. Now it's extremely terrifying. So that's where. Okay. Negotiate there. I really think the resource crack was probably the best choice. What do you think? So that he can't all in? Yeah, I think, I think it only he, delays he inevitable say, though. Yeah, because he can always just focus into a resource, take it, and, and go from there. Or not even all in. Or he can at just all. use commanding presence to triple focus. Yeah, and then force you to deal with it. There it is. Well, he's playing all in. So, oops. So he is triple focusing. All right. So, as you please. Okay. Eight? Is Eight that right? to Ray. And I have just removed my holdout blaster from Ray for that DL44. Okay, well, the game is over. Thank you guys for watching. We'll uh, <laughs> continue to. Uh, Hot against the world! <laughs> continue to enjoy this uh, two on one situation here. And So, I've got three money. I'm claiming I'm probably going to put a second chance on top. Well, it's probably the only out, right? If it's even that. Oh, and Bali goes, goes again, and there's got three damage. And even on the hunt to remove those shields. This is how we lose a this top is, four game This right is how here. you get booted. Yep. Well, uh, guys, you're, you're sticking with us here. If you're still watching, thank you. If you're still watching, thank you. We do have uh, Saga sets, of course. That is uh, essentially an entire collection of every set Two of everything available. except for the legendary. Except one legendaries, of one of every legendary. Those are usually available for pre-order a couple months before the set comes out. Very limited item, so we only have so many slots for those. <laughs> and a backup muscle. And he gets the, he gets the backup muscle, yeah. There it is. We also got box subscriptions, so uh, that's just basically sign up for as many of those as you like, and <laughs> uh, we'll send you that many boxes when a new set releases. You won't have to worry about anything. Uh, Pre-orders or not being able to find the product, none of that stuff. So we can help you out there. And uh, meantime, Zach's going to do a defensive stance. With Han. Seems very thematic here. While he awaits a pelting. Oh, Lord. <laughs> just show him five. Yeah, it's a cash five. Just a natural five. All right, fine. DL44, ambush it in, get a shield, and then uh, will you second chance that? Did you just give up? No, you roll in first. Yeah, you definitely roll in. But it's not a free. Yeah, you definitely roll in. It's fine. Okay. All right, showing six, but only got one money. One, now, if one. you could, if you could kill Bala here, oh, uh, Dodge is gonna, yeah, that's the end of that. Yeah, that's what I, I was kind of with, with last time. If I hadn't lost Ray, like if he hadn't had enough to just kill her, um, and I'm, now I'm replacing the second chance. Nick did a great job here. Oh man, he just obliterated. He me. did such a good job controlling this game. Ah, oh, just hit, hit it. That's what he wanted, double blanks on Phasma, right? Yeah, I assume. So yeah, he's, he's got it every way from Sunday here, and he's just gonna have to try to do it all at once to get over this second chance on. Yeah, because I have one money showing, so effectively I can recur that second chance again and play it on the first action of the next turn. So is he trying to do like, th oh my is that, word. He needs to do, no. Yeah, 13. Now, if he does second chance, now, for those who don't know, a second chance, so once once you take lethal damage, that second chance will get discarded and it'll come back with five health. Then if you can do another five past that, Nick can, that's it. Oh, uh, just, yeah. Is that just, uh, you're just bowing out there? It's just surrendering, right? 
losing it. Yeah. It's exactly what that looks like. Yeah. Just a nice uh, gentleman's agreement. Let's not let's not waste any time here. I'll just get rid of those shields for you, bruv. Yeah. And that'll do it. Jeez. All right. Resolve it up. Just show me the final piece. It's kind of difficult to watch. Yeah. It's like First a. First time you've done it since you uh, played in that game. I have not gone back to watch this just yet. All right, resolving to anywhere I want it. Guess where I'm putting it? On. On, on, my It's booking. over. It's so over. It's painfully over. Oh, goodness. Well, we got more games coming too, guys. This is only the beginning. Yeah, uh, they got a second chance, and you can watch, uh, as you have probably gathered from watching this, you can watch Nick. Uh, in the next round. Yeah, he'll go on to the finals, and we've got another top four game as well, if you haven't seen that already, so go check out top four, uh, the other one. And then we'll catch you in the finals as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, we do have uh, the Saga Token sets available for sale, and we also have box subscriptions for Destiny and Saga sets up for pre-order right now uh, for a reprint of Awakenings, although that will be soon long gone, and we'll be doing set three, set four, set five, on so into on infinity. So to check those out if you would like to collect in that way. Zach, thank you for watching this. I know it's not <laughs> yeah. the easiest thing to do. It will be painful. And uh, congrats to Nick. Great, great player. Yeah, great game. And He's a great guy, too. Yeah, I chatted with him. He's a really, really great dude. So we will see you guys on the next game. Catch us there. And until next time, keep playing.